Thank you for tuning in to Sundays at the Square, and we are back. I'm sitting with Mr. Roland Stewart and Miss Tantra hey. Shaw. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> we're talking about losing Mama Stage Play. What we're going to do is we're going to switch gears a little bit. And I want to get to know these wonderful actor, actors and actresses very well. I want to know a little bit more about you guys personally and any endeavors you have coming up. So um, let's start with Mr. Roland Stewart. What you got going on, man? Um, well, you know, I, I'm doing my thing with the uh, KRGN, and I'm loving that. That's all God. Um, he's entrusted me with that triumphant praise with Stu Hay Radio Broadcast. And we're getting ready, being that it is May, the uh, end of the scholastic year and whatnot, so we're getting ready to go ahead and highlight our youth that are in the area. So we have that, what we call that our youth session, and that's when we salute to the graduating class series awesome. of 2017. And so if you have a, a graduate who's getting ready to graduate in May or June or whatever like that, and they have a testimony of the goodness of God as it relates to their journey towards and to accomplish their uh, graduation. Um, please just hit us up. All you have to do is just uh, shoot me an email at stewhype at gmail.com. S-T-E-W-H-Y-P-E at gmail.com. So we can probably get your loved one on and uh, share the testimony. Amen. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. We're actually getting ready to, um, I don't know, have you heard, guys heard of the Village Co-op yet? Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's actually um, that's something that myself, Tavares. I don't know if you guys know who Tavares Bethel is, Omari, and if you know who Danielle Ryder is, mm. we um, and actually Miss Carrie is involved in it as well. We're Good. getting ready to do a big block party for oh, the graduating. Really? We we just we acquired a building. We're doing all the renovations in it. It's going to be Good. in downtown uh, Colleen. We did an open house, but it's basically a cooperative of all of the different. Um, uh, businesses, uh, nonprofit organizations in different places give you an opportunity to have something under one roof. Wow. So we're renting out offices. For all graduates? No matter whatever? We're doing, whatever, no matter what the temple, clean? No, Cabo wherever. Okay, we're good. just doing a, we're going to do a block party. It's going to be a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah, so um, maybe we can connect on that and see Come how we now. can. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, that's what it's about. It's Come about connection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so... Um, I'll definitely, we'll, y'all stay tuned on that too. This is gonna be the block party. It's gonna be so much fun. We blocking off. Do you have all a date? Do you have a date already? May twenty eighth. May twenty eighth. Okay, yeah, good, good, yeah. good. So nice. look, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And we're we're celebrating our graduates through the uh, s- uh, salute to our graduates two thousand seventeen series all the way through the end of June. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we want to start it in May, and then we want to go and continue it all the way through the end of June, and maybe even the end of July, depending on the um, you know the um, uh, amount of returns and response to it and stuff. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so excited about that. That's yeah. that's really, really, really exciting. All right. So I'm gonna switch it over to Miss Tandra. <laughs> Y'all get ready for this. It's gonna yes. be something. Yes. Okay, so tell me, okay. Tell me a little bit you told me a little bit about yourself before, but tell mm-hmm. me about you as the artist, as the actress. What do people what what can people expect from the Tandra experience? Uh, what can they expect from the Tundra experience? Well, it, it I guess it depends on what I'm working on. I mean, in the play, they can expect a lot of emotion. <laughs> um, but, you know, just uh, as an actress, I mean, I really love um, just meeting people who want to get involved with mm-hmm. acting. I love when they see what I do and they're like, how do you do that? How, did, how long have you been acting? Um, you know what? Since 2012. Okay. That, and what was your first play? Well, actually, this is my first stage play. I'm used to do, I've been doing, um, like, screen, like, short films and Ooh, commercials. And, like, fun. you know, movies and stuff. So, yeah, so thank you to Carrie Ann Frazier, um, <laughs> who allowed me to do, to get into stage play. It's so different, isn't it? It is different. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, learning the blocking and the, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm used to just being able to get into character and just flow. But, you know, with stage, you got to, okay, you can't have your butt to the people. No, that's (laughs) right. You know, so it's definitely different, but I love it, though. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Amen. Okay, so you've done acting, and Mm -hmm. then you also are a vocalist. Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so um, I have an EP titled um, R&B, which actually stands for Reality and Blessings. Uh, I was in a place where God said I had to deal with 
all of those real situations that were going on with me in order to get to that blessed place that I desired to mm. get to. Right. So, you know, mm. some of the stuff that, you know, maybe churches really don't want to address all the time. You know, some mm. of the uncomfortable so is it relationships. Album? It is. It's contemporary. Okay. Okay. It's, it's definitely contemporary. Um, and so, and then I have um, a full CD that's on iTunes that's um, titled State of Correction. And Ooh. so, yes. And so everybody hears that and they're like, oh, that's so deep. But it was just really dealing with how when you're corrected by God, it's not a bad thing. Right. It's not a bad thing at all. You know, it's not that heavy. He does it in love and it's so amazing because when you're obedient, the, you know, the stuff that happens, it just doors open and mm. blessings yes. just flow. Yes, you know? they do. So that's what that was all about. Um, and I just enjoy uh, taking those transparent moments that I have with God and just releasing them into music. And people are like, wow, I've been there or I am there. And, you uh -huh. know, that's good. them just being blessed. So that's good. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay. So you know what I'm about to do, right? Oh, Lord. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Get ready. Um, yes. I want to hear you sing something. So. Bless the people real quick with a little something, something. Make sure you get right on the mic. So right on the mic. Okay, okay. Well, since I am talking about, um, you know, people, and, and I work with people in helping them to pursue their dreams and ignite their purpose, so I'll give a little little snippet yeah, of yeah, Guapale. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love Guapale. Do you really? I do. Nice. Okay. You must be like a Neil Soul. I am. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like I'm closer to my dreams. I'm getting higher and higher. Sometimes I feel like I'm never going to pass green. But I'm getting closer and closer. I'm closer yes. to my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was my, easy. My, give my. do something else. Come oh, on. Lord. Yeah, because you're trying to give a little small snippet. <laughs> yeah, girl. That's, that's what that was like, yeah. I need okay, a little more. Give me a little more. What, 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 all what right, thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all want to win these tickets? Make sure that you are all the way at the end of the broadcast. Me. Yes, right now we're listening to the most beautiful Miss Tondra Shaw. She's singing us something right now, and I put her on the spot again. Yes, I want to hear did. one of your originals. One of my originals? Yeah. Um, let's see. I'll do. Beloved. This is a song about, um, really about marriage and just, mm. you know, the, the realities of, of marriage. So, the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is praise you. The second thing I do when I wake up in the morning is worship you. And the third thing I do when I wake up in the morning is thank you for the love you put in my life, the kind that made me his wife. And I just want to stand up yeah. and declare how great is our God. And I will lift my hands up to the heavens where our blessings flow because we know that he's the one who sent his only son so we could love so we could love so we could love and be loved Yes. yes Thank you That little little snippet you did earlier was cute That was beautiful <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Awesome Okay so mind. how can people find you? They can yeah. find me on social media um, Facebook is Tondra Noel Or Tondra Noel Shaw on, And Instagram same thing Tondra underscore Noel Also the music is on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play All that good stuff Praise awesome. God. You have Good. such a sweet spirit, too. Good. Thank you. You feel when people are humble yeah, with yeah. their gifts. Because sometimes <laughs> I'd be such a diva. I'd be like, come on. <laughs> Girl, sit down. <laughs> they could Got sing it. just a little bit. And they'd be, oh, excuse me, <laughs> do you have any water? <laughs> like, again, <laughs> new moves. <laughs> No, definitely, oh, definitely, definitely got to stay humble, stay humble, oh, stay humble. And, yes. and, and you, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows because they follow yeah. you, Come but I now. mean, Miss Vocalist and, you I know, ain't nobody. Everything Vocal coach right. and everything. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, there ain't nobody. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I say that all the time. And when people say, why do you say that? I mean that. I mean that in the, in the realest way possible. I believe that everyone has gifts and they have mm-hmm. think callings and what it is that God has for them to do. I don't think that anybody's gift is better than any in, than another. Right. It may be one that may be more in the forefront. Mm-hmm. But other than that, there's, there's nothing greater than the other. So when I say I'm nobody, I mean that because God is everything. Mm. And I know mm. beyond a shadow of a doubt that I wouldn't be anywhere without him. So mm. I have to give him all the glory Praise when God. it comes to that. But I do appreciate it. It feels good. You know, of course mm-hmm. it feels good when you when you do what you love and it's recognized. But even if it was, yes. and I'm still okay because yes. I know that it's not divine purpose. Yes. Not my mind. Yeah. But, and, and, and if I can say, and I and y'all have to forgive me because I have a habit of doing this, but you you saying that you're a nobody and I know what you mean you're so humble but I can tell you're so passionate about what you do and it's just so <laughs> awesome you know you whether you're getting paid or not you're gonna do it and I'm I can a, see that in you good. and you love it but I want you to stop speaking that you're a nobody because you have so much in you I mean mm. and, and you can see that God that's has good. put it in you oh, and because because you know he's flowing through you yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not a nobody mm. okay you're not a nobody you are ab- and, and just you know me being around you you know as an artist you know i can tell you're somebody i can learn from and glean wow. from and it's Aww. it's everything that god put in you that's not you know nothing that is absolutely everything and it's god so stop saying that girl she okay is, she is, she is, she is I'll work somebody on trying to tell everybody about somebody you that know what saved that her. song Come came on, in somebody. my head too yes but yes well i appreciate it I, okay all right, I'll work on it. <laughs> I will. I will. You can say I am somebody because of whose I am. How about that? Okay. I, I, yeah. Amen. Let me remember that. Write it down for me. <laughs> 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 yes, but yes, I'm so excited, guys. I am. I'm goofy, so just so y'all know. Oh, All you right. good. You good. That Listen, flows. Okay. That flows my uh, little human Man, thing. I'm so having I'm a, a good time. Like, this is so fun. All right, so I want to play a game. Um, oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, but I'm making it up at the top of my head. So let's see. What is your most embarrassing moment, Roland? <laughs> Girl, please. I got so many of them things. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I, 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 I ain't had one in about, mm, about a week and a half, though. <laughs> <laughs> a week and a half. Uh, I thought you were going to say um, something like three years. I don't know. Um. Oh man, sis. See, see, it's probably hard for him because he he's will, so smooth. Right, he will take an, an embarrassing moment and just play it and off. Flip it or off. Just, just, you know, you know, flip that thing and make it. You know, like it won't be embarrassing because y'all don't even know I was embarrassed. You know right. I mean? Okay. Like, oh, that was funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm funny. I ain't. But uh, shoot, I'm glad you ain't recognize what really went on. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, then let me switch it out. Let me switch. No, no, I ain't gonna let you out the hook. What's your most embarrassing? Um, moment? I don't know. Um, I could tell you mine. I'm okay, well, well, you yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm clumsy. All right. So. <laughs> All right. This was back in the day a little bit. I think I was 13. You remember when they had the sodas? You remember them shoes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like you, don't, you don't know nothing about that. He liked the sodas. <laughs> they was these shoes, y'all. They had these stick soles mm-hmm. on them. And you remember the scores? <laughs> Yes. Like, okay, yes. Girl, I had me a cute score. It was orange, and I had, like, the little white top with the little orange pocket, and I had the little sodas on with the little ball on the back of the, um, you remember the ball with the Soda socks? socks? Yes, yeah, honey, I thought I was killing the game. That outfit sounded embarrassing. You had my little J-body, remember J-body it, ponytail. You remember the J-bodies with the swoop? Okay, so I went. <laughs> I'm painting a picture. I'm painting a picture. So yeah, I yeah. went to um, my friend. We went to Kerrville, Texas. Mm-hmm. And it was my one of my best friends. Still one of my best friends. We've been best friends since second grade. Went to her family reunion. And, okay, at the the way that it worked was, it was something out of a movie. But the... <laughs> The park was like down into this like valley almost, and you had you could take the stairs to come down into the park, or like you, some people would walk the hill. But the hill was like really really steep, mm-hmm. and so we was there and we was we had kind of walked out from the pavilion, and it was down down there was a basketball court with a little the little dudes a kilo <laughs> they was playing basketball, and so <laughs> see that's I see where this story was going. That's what yeah, happened. The yeah. guys and distracted you, and so they was like. Say little mama. And so me and my friend, we were standing there and I was like, Come on, let's go down. She said, Girl, look at that hill. I'm talking about walking down that hill. 
I was like, girl, come on. <laughs> and remember, I got these thick shoes on, right? And you remember how they kind of like tip like that in the front? Girl, I try to walk down that hill, girl. I roll. <laughs> roll. roll. Look, do you hear my feet? Roll. <laughs> Every time oh, I try to get up. I keep it was like the oh, momentum. No. And I landed right at the feet. Landed right at the uh the guy's feet. They say, dang baby, you all right? <laughs> I'ma tell you, okay, now nah, let me let me give you this. Cause you know, I do for real. I have embarrassing moments, but I turn it around and make it a joke. Yeah, ain't no way I could have turned so, that around. No, you right. <laughs> You're right. Stain. So as you were saying, it's some Facebook Live and stuff wasn't out then. So, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. What's well, out there? Like, hey, she turning down the road, man. She turning down. There she go. There she go. Boom, 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 man. She turned. Oh, oh, they, they go. Oh, bah. she hit it. Ooh. Bah. I remember. Um, I met my wife in the summer of '95, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife, she's she fine to be honest with. She fine and stuff. She she you bow legged and it. stuff That's like that. Right. He said bow legged, so, come through. <laughs> so I'm looking. You know, I we used to go to the club. You stand at the edge of the dance floor and you look at everybody else dance. So I'm just looking at this woman in this white skirt and everything. I'm like, man, she fine as she can be. So I know how y'all do when y'all used to go to the clubs. If your girlfriend go on the dance floor, then you looking to go on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is. So I saw my wife's girlfriend go on the dance floor, and I said, ooh, I can go in and ask her to dance. She's going to want to dance. So I went to go ask her to dance. I said, well, excuse me, man, would you like to dance? So she went to dance. The whole night, I'm not needed. But the whole night, <laughs> the whole night, okay. I'm acting like I'm bow-legged too, right? Because I'm trying to, I'm thinking I need that to be, you know, just get that little sexy tip right there. So <laughs> wait, here wait. it is. <laughs> I ain't lying to you. So about a week later, we already after that night we already exchanged numbers, we dating and everything like that right there. So about a week later, my wife really get to realize the real truth. Um, <laughs> we in Georgia, and I'm in the military at the time, so I'm in the barracks and everything. So I run, I get out the car, we go to my barracks and everything. I get out the car and run, come back. When I run back, I forget I'm supposed to be bow legged. Wait so, a minute. <laughs> so my knees are rubbing together like they normally would do. I get in the car and my wife and my daughter. They laughing like crazy. I'm like, well, hey, what's so funny? You know, and I'm for real. They laughing so hard, it took me a couple of minutes to get them to stop to tell me what's so funny. Uh, I thought she was bow-legged. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, my fault. Yeah, uh, see what no, see what happened. And she don't even know. She didn't even know, but I had went and told her because she was already mine then. I Look. told her, I said, girl, I ain't going to lie to you. I was playing like I was bow-legged just to try and be sexy. That's all. <laughs> When I saw how sexy I you were. Know that, I didn't know bow legged this equal sex. Hey, right. <laughs> well, see, look here. I'm going to tell you something. Back then, I wasn't looking for no Proverbs 31 woman. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was looking for Levi's 501 woman. You know what I mean? Can yeah. you get in them, them Levi's, girl? And she can get in them bad boys. But I, I just <laughs> I just said, look, that's what, I had to, that's what I'm going to have to do for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I feel you. <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting ready to give away these tickets. I, I'm not getting that. Maybe I need to her like most embarrassing moment. moment. <laughs> What's your most embarrassing yeah, moment, Tanya? I'm not getting out of it. If I told the story while I rolled down the hill, mine. you yeah. can tell a story. Especially if you I, gave that story. Man. That's can embarrassing. You imagine? I'm kind of, I'm kind of like Stu a little bit because oh. I mean, uh -oh. if 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 the embarrassing moment happens, like I'm, I'm kind of a fool. Yeah, you, you better know? get the so, mic and tell us. Quit playing. So I don't. I don't know. Like there, there's yeah. clumsy. No, it's not that there's nothing. It's right. just you know, I take them and you know turn it into something funny. Like if I fall, cause there's or or okay, I'll tell you <laughs> your heel when your heel buckle when you do the little fop fop and you yeah. you know the heel. Yeah, I've had that happen. And I girl, be like, that ain't nothing. And I'd be like, oh, I almost lost my life to Jossie. But when oh, everybody, you do. Okay. When everybody looking at you and you do that, you know you got that outfit on. You are supposed to be cute. Yeah, but your heel just you know and your little ankle just twists like that and you about to fall, you know. But but what about at the uh, play last week? My 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 darn mic just fell off. The whole pack just mm -hmm. boom, boom just on the stage. Just, mm -hmm. Yeah, loud nor everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in, in, in my defense, it is not my fault that the packs are not made for us. Yeah. You know, that are well endowed <laughs> in certain areas. That's, Wait that's a minute. my story. So let's stick it. <laughs> <laughs> but just right on the floor, you know, and you got to play it off. And then now I got to, like, yell and project so people so can what, hear the, me. So the mics are not, they not um, for ladies with hips or something like that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what so about single, brothers with uh, love handles? I got, they, they be good for love handles. That ain't excuse, y'all. That ain't excuse. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, but Miss Carrie Ann, 
she gave me a little tip. So that's not going to happen on May 5th because she said, you know, she for, for us, that's a little well endowed in certain areas. You know, you got to put the pack on your bra strap yeah, that's in the I back. Did. Yeah, so I didn't know that. It's okay. Mm. Yeah. Praise <laughs> Lord. One of the movies is going to Help her, Lord. Like my grandmother would say, bless her heart. <laughs> Well, y'all, we're getting ready to give away these tickets. I have been looking at someone who has been on here the entire time. See, that's the way I was looking at it. Who has commented throughout it, and I think that she is the one that should win. So these tickets will be given away to Miss Janitra Alba. She said, great job to you. She has been talking, and she's like, hey, man, hello, everyone. Congratulations, Miss awesome, awesome. Alba. Congratulations. Listen. Now, Miss Alba, you're going to be available on Friday. Don't just get no tickets and you ain't going to be available, girl. She's going to come. <laughs> if she's not on here now, I'm going to I'm gonna inbox her personally. But she has been interacting this entire That's time. Good. That's so we're going to give these away to her. Did she Thank say anything so. about me looking like Denzel? <laughs> no. A lot of people do that. They get you mixed up. Yeah, them the ones that ain't they don't have twenty twenty vision. They ain't wearing their glasses. <laughs> so I was just one. We got one of them in our play coming up, <laughs> Fannie Mae. <laughs> so listen, make sure that y'all go out and y'all go see Losing Mama. Yes. It is going to be at the Colleen Arts and Activity Center, nine on one North Fourth Street in Colleen, Texas, Friday, May fifth. That's next week. So um, mm-hmm. I don't want to hear no excuses. Mama. Losing Mama, the stage play. Um, the vendors, um, they're going to be vendors there, and there uh, it opens up at six thirty p.m. But the play begins at seven thirty, and it begins on time. Yes. Do you hear me? Yeah, do. <laughs> on time. And yes, she's still tuned in. Well, congratulations, Miss Alba. We are so excited for you. Yes, indeed. Congratulations. And um, guys, I want to meet you too, Miss Alba. Yes, yes. we're gonna make we sure we're gonna do you. something special. I'm gonna talk to Miss Carrie and we'll figure out what we're gonna do for her. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to Sundays at the Square. Make sure that you follow your girl Tony Ringo. That's T O N I R I N double G O L D. Follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram at Tony Ringo Music. Stay tuned to what we have going on. Oh my gosh, I have so many different events coming up. You guys know that I'm doing. Um, I say losing mama. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm doing Fannie Mae's Cafe May 20th. Also, have the event with the city coming up. Um, so, um, that's going to be June 2nd and some other things up my sleeve. So, stay tell y'all. <laughs> y'all be blessed and have a wonderful Sunday.